Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Lucas and today we're going to go over a tool called shopdev.ai. Now guys, I discovered this tool um, pretty recently in Twitter and um, it made me go wow because it is basically vibe coding, right? Like, you know, you can write a prompt, create a specific section and bring that section into Shopify, right? So pretty cool, right? There's a bunch of cool use cases out there. Um, and then, you know, the, the, the use case that kind of made me go, wow, was this one, right? So it says prompt, build a retro pong game and give the user a 10% discount code when they score a point, right? So this is just a simple little example of what you can build, right? You can just zoom in here and see. So they're going to score a point and then boom, they get this 10% discount code. So you can add cool stuff like this into your Shopify store pretty easily with shop dev. And today I'm going to show you how that goes from, you know, I'm going to show you some examples that are already built. We're going to build an example ourselves, and then we're going to integrate it into our Shopify store. So if this is something interesting for you guys, let's go ahead and get started. Now, apart from the, you know, example that I just showed you on Twitter, you can scroll down here to featured sections. And these are like some other examples that are in the, in the dashboard. And basically I just found some, some cool ones like this one, this retro Minesweeper discount code game. So we can just play this and basically it's like a Minesweeper, right? So you can just um, play this and eventually get some type of code, I guess. You can just play until, yeah, um, game over, try again. So I guess if you, if you beat the game, um, you could eventually get some type of code, but you know, this is just some, some cool little example of, of what we can be doing. There's also this other, uh, this other example called Windows XP product display, right? And you have basically the product image here and you can like expand it, right? To basically look like, you know, a window here um, and have the price, have the functionality to add to, set to favorites, increase the quantity, add to cart, sustainability. So you can read about these little product descriptions, right? And then add to cart, shopping cart. And I don't know if you guys heard it, but there was like some type of like sound effect here, like windows type of old windows sound effect, right? And I guess here you can see different things. Okay, no, this is like, just like a navigation bar, right? So add the cart, here's a cart. And then, yeah, basically this is a cooler thing. Again, also with these examples, you could basically read you, you could remix these right down here and you can read the history of the chat, right? Which is, can give you some good ideas on how to design things, design new things, right? Another quick example is with this build your Jordan bundle. So we have this little um, tab um, section here where we have all of the products and you can basically add stuff to bundles. And you can see that after two items, it's 10% off after three items, it's 15 four plus is 20%. And you can see that it basically adds this calculator, right? Um, and again, you know, you could eventually just publish this um, into your Shopify store. So now once we're here in the main dashboard, I want to go to the left panel. And over here, what you can do is you can, you know, create a new chat, right up here or down here, you can search for, um, you know, past chats. Here you can get token, you have your, your token count, plus you can get more tokens tokens or earn free tokens. I wonder how we can do that. Okay. By sharing your, your link, which is pretty cool. Um, I think I'm going to do that for this video, right? So what we have is we have the earn free tokens. We have the settings. Um, we have the subscription and we have the sign out. So under settings, um, you have the tokens that upgrade every month. And then we have this Shopify tab, right? And this is where I want to connect Shopify to shop dev so that basically shop dev understands my products, right? So we, um, uh, shop dev basically includes this watch now video, which is pretty great. And by the way, shop dev is built by another, um, company, or, or I think they're the same company. It's called instant, right? It's like an, in, it's called instant and they're a no code, um, builder for Shopify. They're great, right? I love their UI. I love the quality. Of, of how it's built. I have another tutorial um, about two, three months ago of, on, on me building some, some stuff with instant. And this is basically the same team. And basically once you click on that Shopify, you know, button, 
it takes you here where you have to um, sign up. So basically, if you want to link your creation to Shopify, you do have to have one of these accounts. I have, for example, the copper one, which is enough for one Shopify store, which is pretty great. And you get 5 million tokens. So now the next thing that we have to do is basically go in here into Shopify, right? I'm in my Shopify store. Let me just zoom in a bit. And we have our settings down here. I'm going to go to my settings. Then I'm going to go to apps and sales channel. I'm just going to copy this. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here on develop apps and I'm going to create an app and we're going to call it shop dev, right? Shop dev. We're going to create this app. And once we create this app, we're going to go here to configure admin API scopes. And we're first going to scroll down to files and we're going to say read files. Then we're going to go to products, I believe is the next one, product listings. So write product listings and read product listings. Sorry, it's just read product listings and read listings, uh, read products, sorry. So read product listings, read products. And then we go down over here somewhere to write themes, write themes and read themes. And now we're going to go ahead and click on save. And then we're going to go over here to storefront API integration, click on con configure, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to tick this products. And I believe it's also content, right? And so it's content, these two products, and then the selling plan, right? So these four things need to be ticked over here. Then let's click on save. Then we go to our, you know, over here to the overview and click on install app, click on install. And then let's just wait for this to finish. And then we're going to get this admin API access token. So what we're going to do is just, you just have to click on reveal token once and then just copy that, right? So we can now go back here and go to settings, Shopify, connect Shopify. And then what we can do is we can just get that um, Shopify store URL that I have right here, right? Copy that, paste that here, click on continue, allow custom app development. So we did that already. I have completed the step, created an app, configure API scopes, done. Configure storefront API scopes, we did that. And now let's just copy and paste that access token. And once we connect that, it should be connected. And I just want to, you know, double check to see if everything works. Yeah, it says my store connected, right? So basically it says my store. We're going to call this like, yeah, whatever. We can just leave this like this. And yeah, it's all connected. So that's great. Now we can go ahead and start creating something, something cool. So going back into Shopify, I do have these six products, right? And shout out. Shout out to my friend Costa for making this content, this amazing product photography. Um, he's also a YouTuber. I'm going to link his channel down in the description below. Um, yeah, so shout out to him for making this content. But basically what we do is what, what we have is we have these six products, right? And what I want to do is I want to actually, I want to create a game, right? So I want to create a game where it's like a memory game that if you can win, you can somehow get some type of discounts. So we can try something like that, right? So um, let's create a memory game. Memory game where if um, the user wins, they get 30% off. They get a 30% off discount code. So let's just try something out like this. Pretty simple. Let me just add a space over here. And what we, what we have here as well is we have the ability to upload an image. So if you find something cool in some other website, you can add that as well, or you can just enhance the prompt down here. Let's just do that. So create an interactive memory game Shopify section designed to, so this is much better to engage customers by challenging them to match pairs of cards. When a user successfully completes the game, they receive a unique 30% off discount code to encourage purchase. The game should have a fun, vibrant design that appears appeals to a broad audience. 
with clear instructions and responsive gameplay on both desktop and mobile devices. Include features such as a timer, move counter, um, and ce celebratory animation upon winning. Ensure the discount code is automatically generated or retrieved from Shopify's discount system and displayed prominently after the game ends with a clear call to action. This is fantastic. Like this, you know, wow, I'm very impressed. So I tried building something and it did give me some error, which is cool. So you can read the error message and um, you can kind of see what you're previewing, right? But there is some error. Basically, this is the error message and you can click here, try to fix. And it basically, just like lovable, for example, tries to fix itself. All right, and crazy enough, we have something working. Memory game challenge, test your memory skills and win a 30% discount on your purchase. How to play, click on cards to flip them and reveal fashion items. Find all matching pairs to win. So let's just go to with medium, start game. And then we have these, right? So right now they're just emojis. It would be cool if we could, you know, eventually use something like, uh, um, if we can use something like, I don't know, our real products, right? Maybe we can do something like that. So over here, I'm writing, replace the emoji, emoji images in the cards with images of our store products. So let's enhance this prompt and see what it basically does. Replace the emoji images in the product cards with high quality images of our stores, actual products, ensure the product images are clear, well lit. Well, we don't really need this. The card should highlight key product features and appeal to our target customer. Maintain it clean. Okay, we don't need all of this. We just need this first thing. So let's just send this. And something to notice that, you know, up here we have this my store or demo store. It's, you know, important to have this highlighted here that you have your store connected, right? So now if we go like this, we have our different products basically connected to, to, the, uh, to the game, right? So if we were to start game and go like this, you see that this was wrong and this one is wrong. This one over here is wrong, right? So I'm not very good at, at, at a memory, um, especially when I'm, you know, uh, talking to you guys at the same time, but you can see that this is just a cool example of what we can get. We also could, you know, go up here and under publish, we can just click on publish and publish to Dawn, which is the, you know, default theme that I'm using. Click on publish. And it says that it is published, so published less than a minute ago, M memory game discount. So we can open the Shopify customer customizer right here. So that's pretty easy. So again, it's built by Instant. Instant has a great UX um, team. So we can go here and I guess we can just add a section under apps. Let's see where we can where we where we can find it. And right here, right here, right? Memory game discount, right here. As easy as that. Amazing. We can click on save and we can preview it and play our game in the in, in Shopify, right? So let's just go back here and get our URL. Go over here, press paste, and we have our memory game. So we can choose easy, six pairs, and just go like this and just play around with the game. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial where we went from, you know, building something from scratch and bringing it into Shopify using ShopDev. Amazing tool, amazing team behind the tool. Honestly, they're geniuses. Like this is really great stuff. Not only is the product fantastic, but the whole UX of the whole, of the product is amazing. I love it. You know, I can stay here all day. Look how beautiful it looks as well. It looks like a nice linen fabric behind the chat, uh, behind the prompt uh, field, right? And you can also, you know, remix one of these things and add them to your own uh, project with your own branding, with your own products, right? So this is an, a really unique tool. I really need you guys to try this. I'm going to have the link down in the description below. And if you have, you know, any comments, if you have any ideas of what to build with Shop Dev AI, please let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll build a new tutorial on this, right? So hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.